Hey everyone, Dan Central here, and welcome to part 18 of my Let's Play Super Mario World playthrough. Now, I just realised that in the last part it was only about 8 minutes long. Um, I kind of judged the timing of that video a bit wrong, um, so I probably could have got another level into that one after all. Um, so, sorry about that, but hopefully the rest of the parts will be a bit better timing wise. It is a little bit hard to kind of judge it just using the clock on my Mac, but hopefully the, the rest of the videos will be a lot better. So yeah, um, basically, um, as I said in the last part, this level that Mario and Yoshi are currently on um, has two exits to it. There's another secret exit that takes you to that tube at the top of the map. Um, but I tried a few times off, off, off screen um, w whilst not recording, and um, I could not figure out how to get to the key and the keyhole in this level, the secret part, because um, you have to go through the same tube, but it takes you to another part of the level if you do if you do a certain thing and I could not think how I did it before so I did a bit of research and I cracked it so I'm going to show you guys what I mean basically if you want to do the secret which is what we still need to do all you have to do is get to the end tube on this level that I'm currently on now in under 250 seconds that's all you have to do. Now, it's not as easy as it sounds, believe me. Oh, okay, maybe it is. <laughs> now, 264 seconds, we've done it. And that's all you do. And I couldn't believe it, it was so simple. And because I've got all the switches, it's even easier to get over. Now, all of them green boxes do have feathers in them, but I've already got two, so it doesn't matter. And there we go. And I'll reiterate what I said in an earlier part. If you've got Yoshi, you just swallow the key and then just duck on the keyhole and it will still register it. And there we go. And that's all there is to it. And I couldn't remember that. I was just like, how do I get in the, in the secret part of that level? But that's how you do it. You get to the tube in under 250 seconds. So, something to bear in mind. Now, one thing to bear in mind, which really does help, is if you um, take note of the colour on the level you're currently playing. Now, if it's got a yellow circle on it, then remember there's going to be no secrets in the level whatsoever. And there'll be no extra routes coming off of it, so, you know, no hidden hidden levels or anything, or tubes to look out for. Damn it! Um, so... And basically, this level um, had a yellow circle on it. I don't know if you, any of you um, saw that before I went into it. So it means there'll be no secret tubes, there'll be no, you know, secret items or anything that you need to, you know, or any um, high ledges you need to try and fly up to. So that's why I'm not really looking um, for anything secret. It's only if the levels have got red circles on them when I start looking to see if there's anything there. See, I know it would help if I could get a, a good run up, but it's not going to let me do it. So we're just going to have to just run this one. Ah, that's alright, not too bad. But yeah, do bear that in mind. Each level that you unlock, take note of what colour circle's on it. If it's a red one, you know you've got to look for something secret. If, if you want to do the secret, you might not even want to do the secret, that's fair enough. But if you do... Um, you make sure you know what colour it is, so don't you, so you're not looking for a secret on a yellow one because there's there's no point, there won't be one. This is quite good because you can just kind of float down. Also, I forgot to mention to you guys, um I looked at how much percentage I've currently got on this game now, and it was 60%, and that's brilliant. Now, you'd probably get about I don't know, 50%, 50 something percent for going the quickest route possible and completing the game. And we're on 60% and I haven't even completed it yet. So we're doing brilliantly. Oh, not bad. I can twist them, but oh, may as well. Now this bit's quite fun, if you don't fall off the, the end, that is. It'll be quick, that's all. There we go. 
Whoa! Did not mean to do that. Oh, that was close. And there we go, guys. Sorted. You have to be very quick on that bit because they go down quite quickly. It's normally good to have a, um, a feather on you just in case, but I didn't have one. But luckily I still got there. So there we go, that's the chocolate secret. And the great thing about it is it, it's a quick route to get to the castle. So that's always good. But we're not. We're, we're going to do, do all the other routes as well. So that's the chocolate secret done. Now, you'll notice in this next level, it's got a red circle as well. So again, there's two possible exits. One exit takes you left to the um, castle. And another one is an un another unnecessary route, which takes you in a, um, a complete circle all the way back to the, the level itself again, which, which again, you know, isn't significant at all, but it gives you more percentage. So I'm going to do it. But I can't remember which um, exit does what. I'm sure if you just get to the end goal, that takes you to the left, and then to do the pointless circle thing, you have to find something else. So we'll figure it out as we go along. You know, I know where the where what levels have secrets, but I can't remember where all of them are. So yeah, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to save soon as well. Now, in this tube, it's good as well. This is quite a good level. Because, you can stand on this side of the ledge first, and get them coins, and you can stand on that ledge, and get them. And you can set it off again, and jump off it, and get the few here. Okay, I missed the dragon coin, but I will. I know that's a feather, so I do want to get it. Good stuff. And that's a feather as well. I remember what the secret is in this level. Right, okay. this is a goal, obviously. We're going to go through it because it's obviously one of the exits. But this works very similar to Soda Lake in that that's not the only goal in the level. You can jump over it, I think, and then you can fly off to another goal. Oh, and there you go, that's the fake one, which takes you back. See, it doesn't do anything. One good thing um, I did do as well, which I was going to tell you guys, is that I figured out what the select button was on my keyboard. So if I have stored items in my window that I want to use, I can get them out now. So that's always good. Now, I did just have a feather on the map, but I lost it. For another play through this level and then died, so I've edited it to show this part, but the only thing is I haven't got a feather. And I tell you, you won't have seen me do it this much because it hasn't been on screen when I've done it. But I've gone backwards and forwards to that top secret area so many times. I tell you, I'm at the stage where I don't want to do it for a little while at the moment because it's just doing my head in. It takes too long to, to do it as well. Ugh. Oh, um, I will go in there. Oh no, you can't, it's not that one. Oh, don't worry, it's just me. We don't need to go in there because we've got two feathers, so. Right, and finally back here again, so. Now, let me just think what the best idea is. I think it's better, rather than jump off there, just in case the ledge is a bit higher up and I miss it. 
I'm sure you can jump over the goal. So whereas in Soda Lake you, you flew underneath the goal and jumped up off Yoshi, with this one I'm sure you can jump right over it. Yeah, there we go. With that goal you can jump over it. There we go. Sorted. Three lives. Always good. And we've done it. So yeah, you jump over the goal and then you just float off to the next goal. But in the in the in the Soda Lake secret, I don't think you can jump over the goal because it registers you as going through the goal. Um, so you have to float under it on your shin and jump up. And there you go, we've created that route, which doesn't do anything, but it's still a route at the end of the day, and then the proper route to the castle. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you all in part 19.